You don't win anything with kids was the famous old adage from Alan Hansen. Hearts might not win anything this season with their team of youngsters, but if they manage to stave off relegation after starting on minus 15 points, it would be a minor miracle. They faced a stiff test against the Celtic side, starting to find their rhythm. The Scottish champions hoping for a morale-boosting win at Tynecastle ahead of their Champions League match away to AC Milan. Watching this one for us was Rob McLean. Hearts with half of their back four returning after suspension. Danny Wilson and Kevin McCatty. Billy King starting as well. This is the same Celtic team as started their last match a fortnight back. The 1-0 win at Tanadice. Latest signing Timo Puki on the bench. Set-piece chance for Hearts. Kevin McCatty. And his free kick touched away by Fraser Forster. It was delivered into a really good area. Celtic moving well early on. Borichter in the wide position, early ball in. And Chris Commons had a flash at it with his left boot. This could so easily have ended up in the net behind Jamie McDonald. Limbering up for Milan. Commons with the corner, there's Stokes. The header blocked, and Willie Collum says penalty. Tyne Castle is stunned. The header coming off Hamill's arm. Did he know anything about it? Chris Commons to open the scoring. Ignores the booing of the Hearts fans and strokes Celtic in front. His fourth goal of the season. 1-0 at Tyne Castle. Adam Matthews. Commons. There's Stokes. It's not going to count. The offside flag goes up. And that was a tight goal. Good work from Joe Ledley. Dirk Bonigder heavily involved in the first half so far. Adam Matthews lines up the shot. And Jimmy McDonald at full length to make the save. Really good strike from Matthews. Matched by the stop. Billy King picks out Jamie Walker as Hearts look to respond. Kevin McCarthy shot blocked. Jason Hart! 1-1! First goal of the season, and Hearts are back in the game. Took a little deflection on its way in, may have been off Van Dijk. It flies past Forster, and it's all square. In from Anthony Stokes, it's a great ball, and Giorgio Samara should have scored. I don't know why Brad Mackay let that go, and he goes unpunished. Jamie Hamill. The shot came off the wall, and he's screaming for a penalty. There was one given against him in the first half, and handball by F.A. Ambrose. Celtic looking to restore their advantage now, that's Samaras. And Commons and Anthony Stokes is in to make it 2 1. Celtic back in front. And a top performance from Stokes is crowned with his fourth goal of the campaign. Borigger turning away from McCatty. Now shapes for the cross. Oh, it's a great ball in for Samaras. A second chance to score for Giorgio Samaras, although this was a tight angle. That's Van Dijk's header. And now Samaras. Plenty of room for Stokes to run into. As Celtic search out the killer goal. It's Stokes! It's brilliant! And Puki scores his first Celtic goal! 
It's taken him only a matter of minutes. But all down to the brilliance of Anthony Stokes. It was on a plate for the Finnish international to make it 3-1. Anthony Stokes was outstanding, wasn't he? Yes, he's playing very, very well. Took his goal brilliantly, but um, I have to say the piece of skill for the third goal was wonderful. And his all-round play was very good today. You know, he's um, he's in a good place, very fit, and he's, he's done his chances no harm starting on Wednesday. What about the penalty that Celtic got first half? Well, you know, I've not seen it again, and I've got to watch what I'm saying. But you know, certainly there was only one man in the stadium that thought it was a penalty. You know, for the reaction, normally you, you kind of get a rough idea for the reaction of the opposing team. But certainly, I, I didn't see many Celtic players claiming for one or their, even their dugout for that matter. So it's annoying. Well, let's talk about that contentious penalty decision, Michael, shall we? Put old Jamie Hamill, he always seems to come off worse when it comes to these <laughs> penalty decisions. And uh, once again, it happened at Tyne Castle. What was your view of it, Michael? Well, unlike last week, it, it did actually hit his hand. You know, <laughs> up at Inverness, it hit him clean in the face. But uh, I think that, my personal opinion is that I think he's, he's quite, I think it's a harsh decision against him. There's no doubt, and it's hit his arm, it's, it's, it's moved the ball away from goal, but he's only a foot away from it there, you can see. And I, I find it very difficult to think that he could have done anything other than that. And there's no intention there. And I, Billy's probably going to tell you differently, <laughs> but I think it's harsh. Billy, you don't agree. I don't know whether it's the strikers bit in me, but I know it's close to him. Um, I know there's not many people claim for it. And, and I know a couple of weeks ago he got hit right in the coupon with the ball, <laughs> but I, I just think that, that it's a harsh one, but I, I think that's a goal. That's three, four yards out, and uh, it's going in the net. And, and his hands up, I know the forward momentum, it's in an unnatural position. For me, it's stopped a goal. So I can understand, Willie Collins have taken a lot of stick for this. I can understand why he's given that penalty. OK, what about this other one? F.A. Ambrose handles the ball inside the box. Billy, what was your view of this? It's totally different because it's not, it's not stopped a goal. It's not a greatly struck free kick. Just cannons off a Celtic Well, Look where he's hand. It's not unnatural, just by his side. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know if Michael's going to disagree with me now because I disagreed with him, but no, I don't think that's a penalty. I, no, I don't think it's a penalty either. I think that the thing that's similar in it is that neither guy could do anything about it. It's a split second there. I know Effie Ambrose is further away from the ball, but his hand's not moved from the side of his body, and I think that neither of them were, were penalties. And you can understand though why the Hearts players yeah, were not happy about it. I would, I would have been claiming for them all after he's given that one, but I think the first one, yes, that one, no. OK, we heard uh, Neil Lennon there praising up Anthony Stokes, Billy, uh, as a, a fellow striker. This is a player really maybe in the best form of his career at the moment, is that fair to say? Yeah, he's, I mean, he's in the top of his game. He's got great game awareness anyway. He had to get himself probably a bit fitter. He's gambling there, the one he was offside, you can see he's on the shoulder again, great finish. but. You know, it's the third goal. Just a wonderful bit of skill from him. and uh, He deserves his chance to start the Champions League game through the week if he does. But, I mean, this is just wonderful. Picking it up, running, but just there. Not many can do that. It's magnificent, isn't it? Yeah, it is. He's, you know, he is. The manager said it himself. He's on top form, full of confidence. And that is a wonderful bit of skill. And, uh, you know, he's, he's piecing his whole game together now. He's, you know, he's passed his injury problems from last year, and I think that's a big thing for him. Do you think he'll start against AC Milan, Michael? I think there's a good chance that he, he will. You know, obviously uh, Neil Lennon said that there himself as well. He's he's done his chances no harm. I think there's a, you know there's a good possibility he'll be starting for them. It'll be an interesting one to see. That's